Hello, welcome back to the Sunday long run. I made an attempt to film my, my interval session on Thursday, but I kind of have to agree with Freddy from the channel Freddy Runs. Filming an interval session is not the best idea. At least not if you're filming on your own. You're just huffing. Just getting loads of huffing and puffing down the camera. So, yeah, when you're trying to give a, a pretty much, or if you're trying to give an all out effort, it's not the best thing to try and hold and talk to a camera at the same time. But I did put, a, I think, a, a short up, or a reel, on my Instagram of it. Uh, yeah, I don't think it quite makes the the cut for the long form video. Maybe we'll see. Anyways, God, geez, look at that. the river's high today. All the snow and rain we've had over the past week. <laughs> It has been a crazy week of weather. Yeah. All the water levels have risen quite a bit. So Sunday long run today again. About six and a half k in now. And I did 18.2k last week. So my goal is to aim for 20. Maybe even a half marathon. What's a half marathon? 21? 21k? I think. We'll see. See what we'll get. Yeah, it's pretty high. <laughs> I had my gait analysis done on a Friday. And it doesn't actually take that long at all. <laughs> I was, didn't know the process, never done it before. But yeah, they told me I've got pronating ankles. Oh, I suppose that's what pronation is the ankles tilting or rotating in as we make contact with the ground. Um, so their answer to that was buy a pair of supportive shoes. Uh, they offered me a pair of Brooks, they're actually really comfortable. Uh, a pair of Hokers, can't remember the models of each one. But I kind of thought, well, that's not really, it's not really a fix, is it? That's a quick fix. It's something to see you buy until you can actually get on top of the problem. I looked into it a little bit more anyway when I got home and surprise surprise I did ask the question is it something you can work on to fix and he did say yes but it's not something a lot of people tend to do which I thought was a bit strange if you've got if you're a runner or an athlete of some sort and you've got something that's going to potentially cause you problems further down the line surely it's something you want to address but Anyway, yeah, I looked into it. There are exercises you can do to strengthen the muscles in your foot and your ankle. So these are the, these are the exercises I've actually been doing for the past couple of days. And I'll do these each day to uh, strengthen my feet, my ankles. So that pulls my foot, hopefully, Probably not perfect, but back into more of a neutral alignment when I'm running. Okay, so, looked it up. Half marathon in kilometers, it's 21.09. So 21.1 kilometers, which I don't think is too much of a stretch. I should be able to do that. Uh, 
I did 18 kilometers in just over two hours last week, so we can say, I don't know, aim for two hours 15. Anything below that is a bonus, I suppose. We're on an hour and a half at the minute, and what are we on? 14 and a half. 14 and a half at hour and 35. So, just over two hours. Should get that. Alright, so, we're just coming up to 16k, and done an hour and 43 so yeah Let the, so 5k left just over and the pace I'm going that roughly be around half an hour 35 minutes so yeah around two hours 15 minutes I should get the get to the half marathon distance another milestone Chipping away. <laughs> Sweating today. Glistening in the sun. Whew. Back at the top of the hill. Off we go again. Right. I'll check back in once we're almost at the 21k. Alright. Just hit 20 kilometers. 1.1 kilometer to go. I'm actually feeling pretty tired now. Heart rate's increasing. We're almost there. Last coming on my push. Done it. Half half marathon completed. That was those last couple of kilometers were really hard work. I was really starting to feel it in my my feet. So yeah. So yeah. 